spectral spectrophotometer operating manual. The product kit includes microfiber wipe for cleaning the spectrophotometer and its calibration tile, manual book, spectrophotometer, calibration tile, user license, spare gasket, core size reference standards, PC to spectrophotometer USB data cable, calibration, before calibrating the spectrophotometer, switch it on by pressing and holding the power switch on the side of the case. When the calibration required warning is displayed, click OK. Go to Settings, then Calibration. Apply the spectrophotometer properly to the calibration tile. Run the calibration. Recalibration is required at least every 21 days. You can recalibrate it more often if it is stored in a cold or hot room, or the spectrophotometer tests are done frequently. Once the calibration is complete, run the self-test to diagnose and verify all the parameters. If the self-test is positive, you may begin testing. The first step is to prepare the element by polishing it with a power tool to remove scratches, scuffs and dull patches which may interfere with the spectrophotometer test reliability. Start the test, select the car icon and add job to start the actual test. Apply the spectrophotometer to the pre-processed element. When the top LED turns green, do five consecutive tests while holding the spectrophotometer steady in the same place. The spectrophotometer features a temperature sensor to read the workpiece temperature. It is recommended that the tested element temperature range from 5 to 35 degrees Celsius. Once all five tests have been performed correctly, type in the job name using the OEM color code if shown on the vehicle. You may also store the spectrophotometer test results under your specific repair job reference or the vehicle license plate number. Run the car color software and plug the user license dongle into a USB port on the PC. Note that all fields must be enabled in the car color window. Click the Discover Color icon to open. Now you can choose a color system, the water-based Wave 2.0, the acrylic 2K or the solvent-based Base 2.0. Choose the color system you need and click Login. Connect the spectrophotometer to the PC using the USB data cable. If the connection is OK, the license number is displayed on the screen. Click the icon in the measurements window to upload the five test results from the spectrophotometer. The system prompts you to choose to delete or not to delete the test results from the spectrophotometer after uploading. Select the five test results using the mouse printer while pressing and holding the control key. Go to the jobs window and click the plus button. Now you can choose a finish effect in the formula. If you're not sure which effect the color has, check the unspecified box. Go to Filters. The core sizes to choose from are X1 to X4. Do not use this filter yet. If the test spray reveals a different core size than the original paint coat, use the X1 to X4 core size reference standard to determine the correct core size. Go to the color box to work with and accept changes, or do not check the color box field and search the database. Go to the search feature in the window shown below. The system suggests the acceptable fade-out formulas with a green color. The closer the values in the shape, initial result, and as adjusted fields are to zero, the closer the color is to the location tested with the spectrophotometer. Note that the spectrophotometer may indicate a correct match of the color hue from different vehicle makes. Go to the spectral tab and look up the spectrophotometer test results from three angles, as shown in the diagram. 
The black curve is the original color formula, and the red curve is the as-adjusted formula. The curve should be as close to one another as possible or coincide. If the curves intersect at an angle or are apart, it means a color deviation. The system displays the original and as-adjusted recipes in the formula window to the right. Use the color box to find all the sample chips highlighted in green. Compare them to the actual workpiece and choose the best matching chip. If you accept the color match, release the color to be dispensed. If the color box sample chip suggested by the system does not match the actual element or just the formula. Choose the as adjusted formula and scroll down to dispense the formula to car color. Enter the amount required and proceed to dispensing the base coat. The minimum mixed volume for the test spray should be 100 milliliters to ensure the color is reproducible. You may optionally print the formula and attach the printout to the spray test panel. Note the background color, which is the primer, ranges from P1 to P5. Prepare the base coat as shown in the formula. With the base coat ready, use it to do the test spray. See the website for the settings of the spray guns from different manufacturers suitable with the spectral systems. Start by applying the contact layer. Now apply one full layer. Leave one or two minutes and then recoat with another layer. Once the covering layers have cured, the drop layers can be applied. Apply each drop layer at lower spray pressure and material feed than before, one layer after another. With the base coat dry, apply two layers of the clear coat. With the film fully cured, compare the test spray to the element being repaired. All formulas released to car color are stored in the Custom Formulas tab. If the automatically adjusted formula test spray is acceptable, find the formula from the spectrophotometer and save it under a custom name. If the automatically adjusted formula test spray is not acceptable, you can readjust the automatically adjusted formula. Do this by choosing the formula in the formula window, enable measure, and use the spectrophotometer to do one test on the as adjusted test spray coating. The spectrophotometer must be connected to the PC with the USB data cable during this operation. With the test complete, click the Process Correct button. The formula window will display another tab, showing the formula for the next adjustment, PC1. Dispense this recipe to car color, do the test spray and compare the produced coating to the workpiece. If the results are unsatisfactory again, repeat the adjustment process as explained before. Spectral. Workshop efficiency, improving technology with outstanding results guaranteed.